yeah. why very explicitly is um, we had uh, we went on residencies um, uh, ourselves um, had good and bad experiences but always thinking about like setting something up that was related to artist development and the ways of meeting other artists we have an open call then we'll select a bunch of people and then we will a small selection we will have like a zoom call with them i think a lot of the time it's also really to be clear that the residency is really informal and it's in our home and be very transparent of what we can and can't offer we also do public events in the house sometimes if that's what an artist wants to do with that fits um or other spaces that are interesting or make sense or available. So we kind of try to just seek out spaces that make sense to to whatever the public event is. But it's not an exhibition format. It's usually a discussion group, a workshop, a screening. So for the domestic residency, it's only for non-London based artists. So it's really about giving people a place to live for a month that are from outside of London, mostly outside of the UK. We also run an online residency, which um, is applicable to all. My background's in photography, but I, then I started doing sculpture and installation sort of work. Um, and Alex, your background's maybe more in installation and sculpture. And so. Yeah, I think um, so. the collaborative practice is under the name Abel Shah, and in our own practice, um, testing out these ideas of ways of working in like different media, like making work physically, but how could we use a digital platform to actually make a new work? And it's not just putting up an image and it exists, but actually using it as a medium in itself. So we started kind of testing out that idea with the online residency. And I think that's a really big part of the residents that, that come on the online residency, that the the project or the research has to actually be using that medium. It's not an extension of our artistic practice as like makers, but it is perhaps part of your research or ways of developing how to sustain yourself and your artistic practice because you just learn from each other along the way and um, learning about other people's work I think is always super beneficial to your own practice it's about less for me defining what the role is um in terms of am i an artist facilitating other artists or is like is this my practice um i think the two are like these two big things that we do which is making work and doing this residency i think the way that they're intertwining is about how we feel as artists and like existing in this city and trying to build a community and yeah. meet people and all those things that we want, trying to provide that for other people. And do you have any other reasons why we started the residency? I think that's it. Just make some friends. Yeah. Just feeling lonely. Make some friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah.